What's up and welcome back. I'm John Stark from MacMovieGuy.com, your favorite blind film critic. And today I'm going to talk about Slam Dance Winner and starring Jerry as himself. Uh, yep, this is a documentary slash fiction blending hybrid. It did well at Slam, Slam Dance. Uh, there really aren't a hell of a lot of reviews out there for it. So if you found this review, kudos. Thank you. Uh, also, kudos to you for looking up a film like this because it feels like a very small movie. Um, it was submitted for my consideration, uh, for an award, and, uh, yeah, so the problem is I'm a blind film critic. That's, well, that's actually not the problem. The problem is that there's a lack of accessibility, <laughs> but the problem is further down that because it's an independent film, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not like a studio release, uh, and I, I don't feel like bashing, do you know how hard it is to make a film in Florida? <laughs> like, do you know how hard it is? Like, we can't even come up with, <laughs> like, a list of nominees to, like, f round out, like, uh, like, like, 10, 20. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not... They, people don't film in Florida anymore. Like, the list of films that film in Florida to be able to go best Florida film is really low because they eliminated the... Uh, the the Florida film, uh, I can't think of the name of what the, the, what the actual department was called. Um, it's the reason why everything films in Georgia, basically. Georgia just got a huge boost, like, some odd years ago. And now they, I don't know if we'll ever get it back, to be honest. Because, I mean, there are huge studios and everything that, so much money has been invested in Georgia. That even if Florida opened it up, I really don't know what would come back here. Like, even if we got a production uh, thing back. I don't know what would happen. So because there are no tax credits, because it's, it's very few things ever film here. Uh, Ben Affleck actually had a movie live by night that set was set in Ybor city, which is in Tampa. And it was actually cheaper for him to build Ybor city in Savannah, Georgia, which is where he did it. And than it was to actually shoot in Ybor city. <laughs> he built a new town because it was cheaper than to shoot in the actual town that existed. <laughs> so, um, <sighs> it's, so like kudos to being a film from Florida because we just do not have that anymore. <laughs> um, we get people who come down and maybe they send like for external shots and they're like, check it out. We're in Miami, but that, they're, not, they're not sure you got serious in Miami. Like, the Fabulous Four was not shot in Miami. I know in uh, Key West. It just was not shot in Florida. So I know you're probably like, mm, it looks like it was not. It was not. It's not a Florida film. Um, so yeah, people don't want to shoot down here. They it, it, so, so I embrace the fact that a film was, even if it is this very independent film. But it's an independent film that got itself into sl slam dance. It's a film that, that has gotten some acclaim to it. It hasn't necessarily materialized. But I did wish it had audio description because it is a film about a Chinese immigrant father who's lived in America his whole time. He's been kind of saving his money and his son kind of makes this film about him, sort of a uh, late stage in life. And um, he's divorced now and he gets these calls where he thinks he's, uh, you know, maybe the Chinese government wants him for something and then the film sort of blends this document documentary style with fiction and uh it becomes a little, it becomes a little hard to follow you know because some of the stuff is staged and some of the acting is acting some of the scenes are like recreations or what is real what is not and i did listen to a uh, little bit of an interview with the director and that was intentional like he was trying to make people question what is reality um and I just didn't really get the full experience. Plus, there's a lot of stuff that's spoken in Chinese. Uh, I know that's not a language, but I don't... There are multiple Chinese languages. I happen to know he's Chinese. I'm just going to say Chinese. It's not a language. Mandarin is. Uh, there's another one uh, in Chi uh, that's spoken in China, too. So, um, which I, uh, is lesser spoken, but there are, multiple, <laughs> there are multiple languages. Anyway, you've learned a lot today from a white guy about China. <laughs> I feel like I'm mansplaining. <laughs> Like, I'm doing the white version of Mansley. <laughs> um, but as a blind film critic, I just, I, I 
can't grade this because I couldn't understand all of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't make it through the film. Uh, I know this is available on VOD. Uh, you can buy or rent this uh, in various places. But, yeah. Uh, what did I get out of it? Pride. That's what it gave me. It gave me pride, to be totally honest. It gave me... Um, what it didn't give me was, like, the kind of nurturing cinematic experience that I would have loved to have. But I'm proud as hell to have a film from Orlando that made it to Slam Dance that was filmed in Florida. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that, to me, is great. That won at Slam Dance, too, by the way. So... It feels like it's a film that's fighting against all odds to happen, to exist. And as far as the quality, it's like I really can't speak to it because, I, again, I couldn't really follow it without audio description. But at the same time, I'm hella proud for this film. And so that's why the film history, that's why the, all the conversation about, you know, understanding. We used to have tons of film here. There's a reason... I know this seems silly to you, but there's a reason why we have Disney and Universal here. They used to have backlots. Shit used to actually film in Florida. <laughs> um, I think the WWE still does, and that's it. Like, that's it. I don't think anybody else does anymore down here for any uh, large-scale purposes. So, that's, you know, that's what we've come down to, is that Universal has these back lots and they just, they can't really ever use them for anything. Um, Disney used to have, you know, animation. They used to have animators down here in Florida. And back, and you could take a tour and watch people, you know, working on animation. Um, they used to shoot Nickelodeon shows down here. You know, all that stuff ended and it went away. So... Am I happy that this film exists? Yeah, I'm fucking happy as hell. I, I don't even care if it's good or not. I'm just like, this film should be shot in Orlando. Uh, and even if I didn't like the film, I'd still be proud of the fact for, of it. Even if I got the audio description and I was like, man, this film's, I hate this movie. I would still, in that review, I would still say, thank you for shooting in Florida. Thank you for bucking the trend. So even if this was the worst fucking thing I've ever seen in my life, I would still, still say thank you for trying to shoot a film in Florida. Because it's it's so hard to do that. And I, I am so impressed that a film that wasn't just made by like film school students. You know what I'm saying? Like film students. Because we have those. Obviously we have colleges. I went to one where, yes, those people, and they're they're trying to make their independent little student films. But this is a student film. So, yes, The Blair Witch Project was made from by students who were from here. So, I mean, like, this Florida has a rich history of film. It just went away. Just disappeared. So, props to this film for shooting. And also props to it for being from Orlando, where I'm from. So, shout out to O-Town. <laughs> Living those liquid dreams. Uh... From, that was an O Town song back in the day. Anyway, I can't grade this film. I'm sorry, I wasted your time, but I hope this was worth something to you. Uh, but yeah, there's no grade because I I can't I can't follow the film. I'm also not gonna say it's unwatchable and throw some sort of like it is sort of to blind people, but I don't want to say that to sighted people because you might get something out of it. So uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I will see you guys on the other side.